Hey everyone, it's Matt Powers, author, educator, citizen scientist, seed saver, and family guy, and I help people all over the world to live more regeneratively. And I wanna show you something, something that until I saw it, I hadn't seen before. I've heard of, but I've never seen any of the people who told me that show me an actual picture. I, I mean, we've all heard of the soil food web. We've all heard of trophic cycling. We need the nematodes there. We need the protozoa there. This eats that, that eats this. But have you ever actually witnessed some of these things? And, you know, a few of them, like, you know, bacterial feeding nematodes are so easy to see. Everyone's kind of seen that. There's lots of footage of that on the internet. Not talking about that. I am very specifically talking about this. Now, you can see from here that there's something there and then let's zoom in. You, you're like, oh, okay, a large testate amoeba. That's not so, you, you, but wait, what's, do you see it? Yes, it's moving. <laughs> yes, there, there's something going on here. Yeah, this is something I've never seen before. I've known about it. People said it. I've never seen them share any footage of that. Uh, any of my mentors, any of my teachers, in any of the books, in any of the videos online, anywhere in the world, never seen it before. And I've done so much research, years and years and years on this space. And you can see its mouth parts. So it's, it's very obviously not a predator nematode. It's not gonna eat other nematodes. This is, this is an omnivore maybe even a bacterial feeder that's going inside of this testate amoeba and feasting like it's this cornucopia bread basket for it to go feed in and whether it's damaging the amoeba whether it's eating the amoeba not very clear but what we do know is that it's going in there it's roughing it up <laughs> it is it's feasting it's feeding and it's 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 it looks like in its action it forced out some of the bacteria and that's why it pokes its head back out and grabs things that came out. Obviously, when you have a, a large testate amoeba with a giant mouth opening, it's gonna be inviting to a nematode, especially if their food source is inside it in a large concentration. It, and it's gonna seem easy, you know, for them to go in and out. It's gonna seem really tempting. But there's another aspect here. When we look at these testate amoebae, they, they, they all look um, sessile. They look still. They're going to just be moored onto something. Um, but then at the end here, we notice that there's, there's kind of a little bit of a drama. We can see that the testate amoeba is somehow holding on and then we see its shape as it gets flipped around by the the nematode as it tries to escape so yes it did feed on it but there seems to be a reaction here there seems to be something going on here what is it stuck on and and then we see the shape it's like a clam this testate amoeba is large and it looks like maybe it was able to close its mouth. Not, we're not clear yet, but this is the kind of non-definitive level cutting edge of, of the real that we're at right now. This image, th this video, this is the cutting edge. This is, this is a sample of catalyst bio amendments, hot thermophilic compost that they age until it's just right. And it's, it, they're amazing. Keisha and Casey are amazing. Uh, and it always delivers. And I, I shared this with them over my cell phone with the cell phone video of this video as I, was, as I was looking at it for the first time. And they immediately shared it. So maybe you saw it on their feed, a clip of this. But, but this image, before this, they didn't have an image of this. Our mentors didn't have images of this. None of the books I've ever read, any of the studies online, all the published studies that I've paid for, the books that are over $500 each that I've paid for, none of them had this image. So what I'm sharing with you today has incredible value. 
and it's also a groundbreaking moment in soil science. So I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to bring you that high quality, 4K quality, and share with you what's really going on in the invisible world, the world that we all rely upon because healthy soil is the key to healthy plants and healthy plants is the key to healthy animals. And whether you're eating those animals or eating the plants, that your health depends upon them. You know, no workout, no physical regimen will ever make up for a bad diet. If we're poisoning ourselves with the food that we eat, it will affect everything in our lives. So we have to do better. We have to fix our soil so that we fix our food, so that we fix our health from the, the, the most primary fundamental space. And that's what regenerative soil is all about. Thank you for being part of this community. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And check this out. Regenerative soil microscopy is the first soil microscopy book of its kind ever available. It focuses on the soil biology, compost, mycorrhizal fungi, rhizophagy, and so much more that is the life that makes all of our plants nutritious and healthy. And it's also a how-to, how to operate the microscope, how to do stains, the recipes, the directions, the step-by-step, -step, that's all in there. But not only that, there's a morphological guide so you can compare what you're seeing against proven lab certified samples. So this is a game changer. This has never been offered before. If you want to see examples of the fungi and bacteria that matter, the protozoa, the nematodes, the macroarthropods, the microarthropods, all the soil microbes, all the trophic levels. If you want to see examples of them, you want to be able to compare them. You want to be able to look at the mouth parts. You want to look at the gallery of images so that you can sharpen your eyes so that you have a reference of comparison as you travel and explore soil, compost, indigenous microorganisms, even roots and plant leaves. We cover it all and it goes beyond bright field. So it's dark field, it's epifluorescence lighting so you can see the invisible fungi. You can see the phosphorus where it goes and where it glows and also manual lighting, which is a new creation that allows us to visualize roots and plant surfaces at a completely new level and allows us to see them in a much more natural and understandable light. If we don't look, we don't see. If we don't look through multiple lenses, we miss what is otherwise unseen. Mycorrhizal fungi is invisible in bright field microscopy. New methods, new interpretive keys, new insights, new discoveries and next level results. We even have case studies comparing Johnson Sioux to hot composting, to vermicomposting, to dead sandy soil, to a compacted dirt road, effective microbes comparisons to EM1, EM3, to brews of purple non-sulfur bacteria, and even collections of indigenous microorganisms. We look at them all and evaluate them all together in this book. There's case studies, there's how to learn how to do the microscope, but also there's morphological guides, there's sizing guides. There is so much information in this book that has never been available ever in one place. So compare the images to the tests and see for yourself Get all the data, all the images, all the sample types, all in one book. Order your copy today at thepermaculturestudent.com. Thank you so much for being interested in soil and soil microscopy because this is the only way that we're going to really know if our soils are regenerative. Regenerative soils are the linchpin to healthy plants and to healthy people into healthy futures. Thank you for being part of this great arc of regenerative soil. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. Click the link and look inside the book. Check it out. You won't be disappointed. I guarantee it. You won't be disappointed. Check it out. I'm so excited. Have a great one, guys.